This is basic trigonometry and today we'll be labelling sides. Now this is one of the key skills, as if you get this part wrong, then you're going to get the calculations in the rest of the question incorrect. So let's get started. There are four main types of triangles, but for basic trigonometry we're only going to be using this one, the right angle triangle. The first side we're going to label, you'll have to recall your Pythagoras theorem knowledge. Now in that, you'll know that the longest side is called the hypotenuse and it's the same case as in here. Now if you're unsure of which one the hypotenuse is, it's very simple to remember, it's facing the right angle, so we're going to label this side the hypotenuse. The second two sides revolve around this given angle here. Now in some questions you'll be given the value of the angle and in other questions you'll have to find the value of this angle. But unlike Pythagoras, the two side lengths are in very specific places. The first side, which is nice and simple, is opposite this given angle. Now we'll call this the opposite side. And the final side length is adjacent to this given angle, so we'll actually call this the adjacent side. Now a way to check that you've put the adjacent in the correct place is that not only is it next to the given angle, but it's also next to the right angle, so the adjacent is between the given angle and the right angle, the two angles we have available. So here's your chance to have a practice yourselves. Pause the video, give it a go and we'll go through the answers. Let's start with this green triangle. Firstly, we want the hypotenuse side which is the longest side and facing this right angle, so therefore this is the hypotenuse. I shorten it to the first three letters. The second side, we'll have a look at the side that's opposite to this given angle, so we'll call it the opposite. The third side is adjacent to this given angle, so we'll call it the adjacent. And just to check that we know we've got the adjacent in the right place, it's between the two given angles, the given angle and the right angle. The orange triangle, we'll start with the longest side, which is facing the right angle, so we have the hypotenuse. The next side, we've got the opposite side, opposite the given angle. And finally, we've got the adjacent side, which is adjacent to the given angle, and between these two angles. That leaves us with the pink triangle, which looks a little bit different and a bit trickier, but all the same rules still apply. We can see that the longest side is this bottom side here, and it's also facing the right angle, so we'll label this side the hypotenuse. The next side, we're going to look at the opposite side that's opposite to the given angle, so we'll call this the opposite. And finally, we'll look at the adjacent side, which is adjacent to the given angle and between the two angles. And that's all for this video, I hope you feel happy like this chappy here. Feel free to like and subscribe the videos and I'll hope to see you in the next one.